Okay, guys, here we go. This is troubleshooting control circuits on the second set of troubleshooting uh, systems. And I will do one basic, one intermediate, and one advanced. So let's get started. All right, so here's a basic. All right, can't open the door to machine room. Combination is 314. And if any of you have started this, you'll notice 314 is the same combination. And that's because the way the control circuit is, is designed. So if we take a look at it, all right, you'll have a, a door that if it's unlocked, you would click and it would open. All right, if you've got this little control panel here and you've got a keypad one through five and R for reset. <clears throat> so basically what I would start with every time is I would look at um, basically see what's going on at the keypad. First off, to run the three, one, four, and you should have, get a green light here once you get the right code in to click on your door. And then when you hit reset, now the way it would function, three, one, four, click the door. As soon as the door would open, this would reset all back off. And when you close it, click on the door to close it, start all over. So as you can see, if I hit reset and we start, we start number four is already energized. So we know right off the bat, there's something wrong with either number four button, probably number four button or number, uh, because it feeds the um, light right away. Also, it could be the relay for number four. All right, so I'm gonna open up schematic diagram. I love using this, but what I have found that if you have to troubleshoot some um, and determine which wire, because you got multiple wire connections throughout he here, you'll see two wires under one terminal. You have to determine, well, which wire is which. And that's through the connection diagram. So if you're looking at this relay right here, relay A, you'll see it not terminal number two, you got a wire going to TB1-5, which is up here, all right? And you'd have a wire going to A3, which A3 is uh, relay A terminal three, which will be here. Okay, so you can actually use this in some of your troubleshooting. All right. <clears throat> I gotta get this little thing out. All right. So let's go ahead and let's open up our panel. I like, and I've kind of figured out I can put my panel here. I got my schematics there. Slide this over a little bit so I can still click on my door, open my breaker panel because we're going to have to get in and lock it out. Then I can grab my meter. So I've got where I can see everything and I'm not flipping back fourth. All right. So we know number four is on all the time. So I would just go out and say, all right, number four is being, is feeding PB4, is feeding relay C. So it looks like C is energized continuously. Oh, that's E. What am I looking at? Number two. All right. So right here you see that C is hot at number two. With C, relay C, terminal two is your coil between two and seven. So we, and we can also see right here that, hey, it's on. If I hit reset, my coil goes off. So if this reset button, so it kills power to my circuit. So I know, you know, at this point I'm good, but somewhere around here possibly causing this to turn on, turn on. So if I look at my circuit, to me, one of two things it could be is maybe my push button is closed, is stuck, right, welded together, or my contact, my seal in contact here is closed, okay? So really, 
since I know I got power to this, there's no use of even troubleshooting any further for power because you know it's getting power straight through to it, okay? So let's go ahead and shut it off, lock it out, verify. And I screwed up here a couple of times going through, trying to quickly figure out what the problem is. Always slow down, stop for a second before you put a wrench on it or a screwdriver and check your lockout, make sure. And you can always go over and verify it a second time. It doesn't hurt anything, okay? All right, so at this point, what I wanna do is I wanna check, I would, let's start with PB4 and see if it's welded. So we can grab a screwdriver, pop one side, it doesn't matter which side. Let's go to resistance and let's check across that push button, all right? And then if I push it, look, it is. It's, it's flat out welded across there. So right off, I know it's my, it's my push button, okay? Go back in, click that, replace it, make sure my connections are back, everything's good, all right? Now let's go back and we'll see if we can test it. All right, look, well, as soon as I got power back on, the light's off. So I'm gonna just go through here and check to make sure all the lights are working correctly. Make sure reset works. Then I'll check my code, three, one, four, bam. There it goes. And then they go off when I hit the door. All right, now you'll notice in some, three, one, four works, everything is working right. It looks right. Well, there's some that you might hit a three and a four and the green light comes on. Or you hit a one and a three or a one and a four, right? So it could be any combination and, and causing it light to come on and open, okay? So we know this is good because everything else, you know, one and three doesn't work. If I do one, four, three or uh three, four, one, any other combination, it doesn't open it. But I do know three, one, four, and I'm in and resets, okay? I can't get back in. So I'm gonna go exit, and it was a success. All right, I had 24 minutes because of that. Um, I showed details. I was not in the blue, probably because of voltmeter readings. And it took a little time, actually a little time. Time was the, the cause. If the readings, if you take all these readings and you're real high and you still did it in the bonus time, you're good. So because I stopped to talk a little bit, we got out of the bonus. Okay. All right, so let me do an intermediate now. See, I'm leaving my schematic out because I know I'm gonna use it. All right, I'm gonna retry. Different door, but same code. All right, here we go. Let's open up our panels. Uh, I like, like I said, I know I'm gonna be troubleshooting, so might as well get everything out and ready. All right, so one, two, three, four, uh-oh. Four is not staying on. All right, I go three, one, four, oop, four. Okay, so it looks like that's the only issue I've got. All right, so how do we determine that? All right, so it looks like um, a node, let me see if I can get voltage. And number four is C. So a node, the coil, I'll be getting power to it when I hit, say, three, one, and I hit four. I'm getting power, all right? C out of three, because the reason why I say three on C is you got that seal in. So what's gonna keep it when I push it to lock in? It's across here, all right? So here's the thing, I'm getting power at that terminal, so I know I'm getting power coming into it, right? Or should, 
Let's check it. Yep. Getting power to one. And then when I hit the button, I'm getting power to three. Well, how come if I'm getting power here, I'm not getting power to two, which should be right back over here. But if I hit it, I'm getting it. So it should be filling in. So what tells me is possibly a connection between here and here or the contact between here and here, all right? Uh, the only other thing is you can get power here at three when you push the button, even if this is bad. If this is open, you're gonna get power all the way around to this point through, this, through that push button, right? So if this is open, and it's staying open, that could be your problem it, and you'd still get power there. So um, what I'm gonna do is, you know, you can disconnect this in a real world situation and just make sure there's no open terminals and then you check resistance across that contact when you energize that coil. But because it's not, it's a different, circuit and they're going to fail you we're just going to check resistance in our wires from here to here and then here to here so we have to look at our wiring diagram all right so let's do that let's lock it out verify we're dead okay all right so let me get my connection diagram i like to shrink it and i can move around a little bit here Actually, where I part of the circuit I want to look at is this. I can pull it over here. All right. Now, so we're looking at C, and we're thinking, hey, maybe um, we're not getting a connection between three and two because of this. So coming out of three, we should be going to number two on the relay which here from three to C2, which is right back here. Notice it's the bottom wire. C3, it's con two is connected to C3, which is C3. C3 is connected to C2, which is C2. All right, so let's get our screwdriver. We're gonna open those up and I'm gonna check resistance from this wire to this bottom bar here, all right? So from here to here is the connection. This is coming right around there. So what have I got? Oh, well, so that tells me that's, a bio, that's an open wire right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna replace it, okay? All right, now let's put that wire back under there. And now let's go back and see if we can figure, see if that fixed it. All right, all right, so now if I hit four, guess what, it stays on. So three, one, four, green, open the door, okay? So that was correct. All right, and if I show details, I was in the bonus, hey, I was still in that bonus time. We got it pretty quick. All right. All right, so now let's go to advanced and do a tough one, which some of these I've seen, some of the basics are just as tough as some of the advanced. So, all right, room 801, 314 still, same thing, every one of them. All right, I'm gonna just open all of my stuff and have it ready. All right, let's check this. Three, one, four. Green light did not come on, reset. Now I'm gonna check here, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. All right, so we'll watch our sequence in our relays here. So three should actually turn on, PB3 should turn on relay A, and when relay A comes on down here, it should turn on A2, which it did. All right. When I hit one, PB1, B would come on, which would turn on B2. All right, B came on, but B2 did not. 
All right. So the next one, of course, is four, but it doesn't matter. If I can't get B2 here, four turns on C, which turns on the solenoid. But if we can't get B2 on, guess what? It doesn't seal in here, all right? And we can't turn on the solenoid. So I know, I know right now that it's B2. Okay, so, or somewhere, something to do with B2. So let's check, and let's check your voltage. I'm gonna grab this and throw it on ground. All right, so let's look at B2, number two. Let's put it on two. All right, so we know we should have power there, which we do not. So let's go from two back to where would power come from, which would be number eight, terminal eight on relay C. So we'll jump over here to eight, and guess what? Still zero. What's on the other side of eight, which is five? Go over here to five, which is still zero. All right, out from five, it's coming from what? Six on relay B. So we'll jump over to six on relay B, still nothing. All right, B's turned on, but my contact should be closed so i should get power there so let's check eight that's going in and make sure we got something on eight got nothing on eight where is it coming from all right it's coming from terminal three right on a2 so a2 down here terminal three i got nothing all right well a2 should be turned on right oh what happened? Uh-oh, I guess I missed that. Three, oh, okay. So I did miss something, look. So when I hit three, A2 comes on, which is correct. When I hit one, guess what happens? Boom, A2 goes off. So, three, yep. When I hit one, A2 goes off. All right, let's see. Why is it going off? Well, you remember, let's see. Let's reset and I'm gonna go three. So I'm getting 24 there. All right, 24 in. So let's B8, right? Eight and five, that's normally closed. All right. And then if I hit one, that goes off, which is correct, but I'm not sealing in. So it's looking like the problem I'm losing it right here. So we know it's possibly that seal in contact is not working. All right. So the only way to check it is we just check our wires to make sure everything, if our wires are good, then most likely it's at contact. All right, so we're gonna kill it, lock out, verify, okay. Let's check resistance. Now let's go to screwdriver. And let's take that three off of A2, okay? Come back up here, all right? And we're gonna check our wires, which I've gotta go back to my connection diagram. B2, A2-2, the top one on three, the bottom one on two is your wire. All right. So I gotta disconnect this. All right, and let's just, just go to the bottom one there. All right, and let's say the top one to the bottom one. That, that wire, that point through A2-2 is coming right around to here. So that wire should be that wire, which it's OL, so that tells me that wire is overloaded. I mean, it's open. So I'm going to wrench it, and I'm going to replace it. Okay, now I'm gonna terminate, 
terminate, make sure everything else is terminated. And I'm going to go back and we're going to remove our lock and test it there. So we go three, one, guess what? A2 stayed on and B2 stayed on and four. And you see, it, it took me a second there because I was following through and voltages looked fine, but really I missed out and I did not pay attention to that relay coil. It went off when you hit one. I was kind of coming off the B2. So our contact, our seal in contact on that relay is what got us. This contact right here was bad. All right. Well, no, I'm sorry. The wire from this point to there, that, that wire to seal in was bad. It was open. So it, if it was open in here, that means you can't maintain power through this A2 to the, the coil. Okay, so we're good. All right, so I probably did not meet the, yeah, I guess it was still in the bonus time. Give you a good bit of time. All right, gives you a good bit of time to work with there. All right, so I'm gonna do one more and then I'll post this video. Same problem, door won't open or something wrong with it. All right, let's start out and go three, one, four. All right, so what happened, three, the light comes on, A2 comes on, A comes on, one, all that stuff comes off and B comes on, four, and all that goes off and C comes on. All right, let's see, what in the world? I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna come out here and um, well, check for voltage. Voltage looks good. All right. All right. So when I hit three, oh, uh oh, look at that voltage. Hmm. So three, one. Four. So something is going on with my voltage. One, doesn't matter what I run, something's loading up. All right, let me check straight across, 24. All right. 120, good there. Make sure we got 120. All right, just some checks. All right. So it could be a loose connection. It could be bad transformer. All right. Tell you what, let's check current. Uh, da, da, da. Let's check it right here. And we hit one point one five. It doesn't seem too bad. Three. Let's get two coils on. Four. One coil. Three. One. All right. All right. So quite possibly be an, a bad, like I said, a bad connection, loose connection. So let's go into that. Let's go ahead and lock it out. All right. Um, and I would check at my transformer real quick and just make sure those are good. All right, let's see, it could be a coil that's high resistance, or low resistance, sorry. 
So everything ought to check a screwdriver low, about 71 ohms. Nope. So we're not having a problem there. It's only when or a neutral. I could have the neutral. Loose neutral or something, a bad connection there. All right, so, all right, so also would we'll check in neutrals back to your neutral wire. So if I terminate. And I check seven, I should get zero from there back to neutral. If you look here, that's your neutral or X2, whatever. You go back to ground, actually. You should be reading zero all the way through here. So I notice I got my leads flip flopped. All right, so I should be reading zero from each one. All right, so everything looks good there. All right. All right, so I'm gonna probably be high on this one. Let's see. Might take me a minute. Check all my. Something's kind of is loading. So. What should we do? Let's do this. What I'm gonna do, check my resistance across my lights. So we do three, one, four. And everyone is loading down my supply. All right, let's do this. Let's double check. We, we did terminate these. Let me go through my fuse. And just make sure no loose connections there. Um, but also, let me check resistance from X1. So, X1, 2, what happened? All right. Do all this to PB6 number one. All right. From there, through all of that, through this. Should be point <laughs> so say, don't do that. Where's number one? All right, connection diagram. All right, this one's throwing me for a loop, guys. So I'm getting my butt kicked here. So we're reading something is loading it. We just got to figure out what it is. Because it's dropping that voltage down. In each one of them.
All right. And we check from here to the, out there for the hot side from here all the way out to these. Maybe we should check each one of them. So <clears throat> All right. All right, let's check her coils here. Also, <clears throat> Let's see. I don't know, those look good. Actually, let me check across the coils. Should be 71. All right. I'm missing something, but it it's loading it to fifteen. Let's see. Oh, everything connected back. Move lock, turn it on. AC bolts. Four, yep, three. Is it fifteen volts?
So something is drawing it down. So what all should be, oh, you got a light, two relays, right? <clears throat> three, relay A, LT3, and A2. Let me reset that and let's do one. So if I do one of them, it still pulls it down to 17. All right, the only thing I can think of here is my transformer. Everything else I'm checking is looking good. So let's do that. I know this is kind of a, I tell you what, hold on, let's check resistance real quick. I can't tell you the truth. I can't remember what that should read. Well, let me check. I guess it checked the ground. H1 to ground. is three ohms. Maybe low on that transformer. So let's check the resistance of that wire. So let's check from here to ground or from the wire to ground. Oh, all right, y'all should call it that. Who's the idiot? I don't, I don't, I'd have to look, but hey, let's do this. We're going to replace it. Probably screwed up. It's three point five. Hmm. Let's put it back and let's check it. I guess that's it. Man, I got my ass kicked on that one, guys. All right. So... When I checked everything, being low, you can be, well, let's, let's, let's go back, let's lock that out and look at it. So that's one of my faults is I should be checking that transformer and see what the coil, the winding is 0.5 on the secondary which seems awfully low to me. But maybe it is. Um, I'm thinking of a control transformer that usually, you know, your habit, you've got about 15 ohms on the primary, now about seven or eight on that secondary like that. But I guess they're working with a little bit different transformer. So just keep that in mind. This transformer is three on the primary and 0.5 on the secondary. If you remembered it, when we checked it on the secondary the, before I replaced it, it was like 40, I believe. So we got to be mindful of that. Okay. Oh, shoot. Shut up. All right, everything works.
Let's see if it'll let me go. All right, door lock was repaired within the allotted budget. Wow, I figured I'd get my butt kicked on that one. Oh, I meant to see what my, so I guess it dropped my rating a little bit. Turn it, I should have uh, checked to see what, what I got. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna probably chop this video up a little bit and um, then share it, okay? All right, well, I'll do another one.